In this video, I want to talk about what I would do different if I was to start this journey again. Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Geraldine. If you are new here, welcome. I think one of the biggest um, not mistakes but problems that newer entrepreneurs face when they join is that they don't know what they don't know and it's completely fine I'm gonna tell you you know three things that I would do if I was to start all over again and the reason why I'm creating this video is because I want you guys to know that anything is possible if you are committed determined and take ownership and also a quick reminder, uh, the waitlist is still open for Skilled and Align. This is a program where you join me and a group of other aspiring entrepreneurs who want to start a online business, preferably a service-based business. Sign up for the waitlist. Open enrollment is going to be next week, so you definitely want to get on that waitlist. All right, so let's get started. When I first started, again, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't know what I didn't know. I was just on the internet. But like everything else, you get mixed messages. Some people talk about, you know, their experience. Some people talk about what they've learned. When I first started, I was still working at the clinic and I just didn't know who to go to, where to even start. And it was a little discouraging. So one of the things that I would do if I was to start my business again would be to focus on one specific thing. I know, I know, people don't want to hear that because they want to know everything and launch this big agency or business, have all the clients and make all the money in the world. But if you want to set yourself up for success, doing the one thing is the only way to go. From my experience, being in operations in a medical clinic, I already knew some of the basics when it came to operations or at least running a clinic. So one of the niches that I could have focused on was healthcare, the healthcare industry, maybe fitness. I love fitness. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably see me posting videos and um, screenshots and everything. But another thing that I would also hone in on is learning how to master maybe one to two programs or softwares. People will pay for you to set up a system or um, a CRM. It could be a, um, a funnel using ClickFunnels or how to set up ClickUp or Asana or if you are into graphic design, how to use Adobe. I mean, just focusing on one or two programs or softwares and then mastering how to use that, you can sell that as a service and charge a good amount of money. So picking that one thing to focus on, whether it's honing, on, honing in on a skill or learning a program or software. Once you practice, done your research, you feel confident in what you know, start telling people. So number two is, I would tell everyone I know, hey, I learned how to use this program. I think it's going to benefit your business. Obviously, you want to be intentional and pitch someone who might need this service. Telling everyone that you know that you are learning this new skill, that you want to help them. And it's okay to do it for free. There's nothing wrong with doing something for free if you're getting your feet wet in this area. So posting it on Facebook, I know people don't like to use Facebook. They want to keep that kind of separate, only for family. But at the end of the day, when people learn about you or want to find a uh, integrator or a virtual assistant, most of the time they go to Facebook. And someone knows that you are good at this one specific thing and they know other people that are looking for someone, you know, to help them out with this thing they will recommend you. That's one of the mistakes that I did. I did not want to tell anyone. I was very secretive when it came to launching my business because I only wanted to keep it on the internet, only on Instagram. But as soon as I, one, started telling people 
what I do, started getting on YouTube and just being shameless and telling people, yeah, you know, I love operations, I love strategy, I love doing the integrator, um, integration implementation parts as well, and I'm good at these specific programs and softwares. So don't be shy, tell people what you're doing, what you're trying to do, and who you're here to help as well. And number three, I think this is something that I did pretty well and I, again, you don't know what you don't know, but when I first started as a virtual assistant, I was charging $25 an hour. Um, I felt like this was the price point where I wanted to start. This was how much I was getting paid uh, working at the clinic, which I thought was pretty good. It's okay to charge you know, a certain amount per hour in the beginning um, so at least you're getting compensated for the amount of time that you're working um, or if this is like brand new to you do it for free do it like a do like an internship or think about it like an internship where you're going to keep learning more about business more about entrepreneurship and you know this business owner is giving you the opportunity to work with them so if they give you the opportunity maybe they don't have the bu budget yet Maybe you kind of have to convince them that, hey, I'm the right person to work with you long term. Working on an hourly wage or for free as an intern is completely normal. It's fine. It's okay. We might have that ego that says, no, you have to charge, you know, $500, $1,000, $3,000, $5,000. That's all you need. You're getting the experience. Later on, a couple months down the line, then you can increase your pricing. Those would be the three things that I would do different. The third one is something that I would <laughs> do the same. First thing is to focus on that one thing, whether it's honing in on one skill or honing in on one specific software or program. Two is telling everyone that you know, because if either they don't need your help, they might know someone else who might, or they might be curious and ask you questions about it. Don't be shy. It's okay. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. You can delete the post if you regret it. And three is just either charge nothing and take it as an internship. Or two, charge your minimum, what you're getting paid now at work. I started off with just $25 and I was completely fine. <laughs> It's just getting your foot in the door that's important and the experience. All right, so if you are looking to start your own online business as a service provider, whether it's a VA, an integrator, or a OBM, these are some of the things that I'm going to cover in the program. So if you are interested in learning more about Skilled and Align, the link and information is down below to sign up for the waitlist because I want to make sure that everyone that joins the program gets that one-on-one -on -one attention. I am capping the enrollment to be 30 people. So if you are interested, get on the wait list. I'm only going to let 30 people join and again, it's because I want to make sure that they get that one-on-one -on -one, uh, attention and mentorship from me as they go through this program. We're also going to talk about not just learning a valuable online skill, uh, but a high income paying skill. We also talk about how to find and attract your ideal clients because not everyone is going to be your ideal client. We also dive into how to work with them. What happens when you start working with your client? So if you are interested, again, the link to sign up for the waitlist is down below. So get on the waitlist. If you have any questions, you already know, you can send me a DM at HeyHeyGeraldine on Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one.